Hey everybody and welcome to another lesson. This time we're gonna talk about using Valet in a way that we can share our locally hosted site to the outside world. And we're gonna use the tunneling tool or the share tool in Valet. So I have my Craft3 sample site here. And what I wanna do is make this available it at a public URL. So let's go into our command line and we have our site here. So if I do valet links, then I should be able to see the list of my site right here. Now, one thing to note first is that both of these are running via SSL, which of course is not what we want because you can't use valet share, which is the command for sharing uh, the site publicly when it's run over SSL. So we have to unsecure this site first. So we'll do valet unsecure craft three. Now it's going to remove that certificate and then restart PHP and restart Nginx. All right, now it's done. So if I do valet links, you can see we have our site here available just at HTTP and we can confirm that it is so. Now really quick, I'm just going to put in a, I'm gonna go back and go into the templates directory. And I'm just going to put in an index.twig template and then just put in uh, craft3 test site, just so we don't get a 404 when we are viewing that site. All right, so now let me go back to the web directory. So we're in the web directory, which is the public directory for this site. And from there, we are going to do valet share. Now you can see we now are in a tunnel, a web forwarding tunnel, so that this URL here is pointing at craft3.dev and then port 80. So if I go to this one, you can see I get my craft3 test site. And this is now available to the outside world. If if I was streaming this live, I would, uh, you would be able to access this site on your browser as well. Now it also has this SSL version of it here as well. And you can see that works as well. Even though locally we are not uh, hosting a secured site, it can be made available over SSL through uh, ngrok, which is this tunneling tool that allows us to do that. So if we wanted to remove this tunnel, uh, we just hit control and then C, and that will get us out of that process. And I can go into, let's say, my site, and I can do valet share there. And again, I get another tunnel that's pointed at my site.dev port 80. And you can see that that should resolve to, it does not for some reason, move to permanently, ah, oh, this is over SSL, so that's why it won't work. So let's quit that. We'll do valet unsecure my site. Allow PHP and Nginx to restart. And then we can do valet share. All right, now if I click on this, now we get the forwarded URL that hits my local machine and gets that first site that we built in the previous video that I did on getting set up with valet for local hosting. So that's how we use ngrok as part of Laravel Valet's share command. It's really straightforward. The only thing to remember is that you are in the project that you want to share publicly once uh, when you run Valet share, and also that you're not running that project locally on Valet as uh, secured, so over HTTPS, that it is not run as such because it won't work with ngrok. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.